Hi there. Now in this video I want to talk to you about addition and subtraction of vectors, their meaning and graphical representation. Let's just say we've got a vector A here and we've got a vector B here. Now if I'm going to add two vectors together, let's say the vector A and the vector B, then if I take the vector B and put it on the end of the vector A, then if we go back to the start of A and draw a line to the end of B here, then this vector here is defined as A plus the vector B. It's not the kind of plus that we might think when we add two numbers together like 2 plus 3 and equaling 5. When we add two vectors together, the length of this line here isn't necessarily going to be the length of this line plus the length of this line. That would only happen if B was going in the same direction as A. No, with vector addition, think of the plus as, let's say, followed by. So what we've got here is the vector A followed by the vector B when we add it on the end. The vector A then followed by B gives us this result, the vector A plus B. You might like to think of it as moving from one position to another. I go from this point to this point and then from this point to this point. So therefore I could have taken the shortcut if you like and gone from here directly to here. The vector then A plus B. Now when it comes to the subtraction of vectors, let's take the vector b here and the vector minus b then would be a vector in the opposite direction but the same length, like this. So if I took the vector a again and this time took the vector negative b and put it on the end of a so I end up doing a plus minus b then that's going to be this vector from here to here. So this is the vector then a plus or followed by if we use this idea here the vector minus b. But the plus minus is replaced by the minus. So what we've got here is that this is exactly the same as the vector a minus the vector b. So we've got A followed by minus B. Now I've got an example here that hopefully illustrates this point and I'll also show you the graphical representation. Let's say we've got the vector A which is given by the column vector minus 2, 3 and the vector B which is given by the column vector 5, minus 1. Then when it comes to adding the two vectors a plus B, how do we go about it? Well, all we need to do is just add the top elements together and the bottom elements together. We say we add the components. So we're going to have minus 2 plus 5, that's going to give us 3, and then 3 add the minus 1 gives us 2. So we've got that column vector 3, 2. And if we were doing the subtraction of those two vectors, a minus b, then we just subtract the components. So we've got minus 2 minus the 5 is minus 7, and the 3 minus minus 1 is 4. So very easy idea there. Now, when it comes to displaying these results graphically, then let's say we take the vectors and lay them out on a grid. As you can see here, the vector A is minus 2, 3, and the vector B is 5, minus 1. And so when we add these two vectors together, A followed by B, we create this vector. And you can see that it checks out with this result here, 3, 2. 3 across, 2 up. Similarly, when we take the vector minus B, that's going in the opposite direction to the vector b, so that's going to be minus 5, 1. And when we do the vector a followed by the vector minus b, in other words a minus b, we get this result 
minus 7, 4. And you can check it out. We go across here, 7 units, that's minus 7, and up 4 units. So I hope that's given you an idea anyway on how we add and subtract two vectors and their graphical interpretation. Now in the videos that follow, I've got a couple of examples on how we apply this idea when it comes to working with displacement vectors. So do check that out and you'll get a sense, I hope, of how this works.